So back to the semi-finals of the men and Mike Day and Robinson comfortably qualifying at the moment, as is the South African Napaldo, Jimenez and Bennett. Madison's, Willers and Van der Beesen need to do well here to get themselves back in the running to try and qualify for the final. This is the second of three semi-finals for each group. Well, Mike Day is four from four right now. He's really, really strong, very smooth, got confidence sky high. He's not let anybody come past him. Four starts and four wins. This is his second run into the semi-final. There's Donnie Robinson right alongside him. Scrawny. He used to be known as Scrawny, the smallest rider at five foot six in the field. It's going okay. The Americans both tracking well and drawing by choice that inside run. Yep, that's where you want to be. It's the gun spot. Ten seconds to a start. Watch the gate. They snap down into the first hurdle at running at 60 kilometers an hour heading into this hairpin. Well, they're really grouped up here to, together. The elbows are certainly out. Mike Day's in front, Donnie Robinson behind him. The South African Safiso third. They jump the women's track and it's still the Americans and the South African and lead them around the back half of this course. It's a clean start so far, but Mark Willers from New Zealand is right at the back of the pack. He needs to do a lot of work or he's out of it. So it's still the Americans tracking and heading for home. Day and Robinson qualifying well. The South African, what a meet he's having. The only South African here, and you can see there Napaldo finishing third. A good race from the Colombian Jimenez. Bennett surprises there. Van der Beesen and Willers. Well, that's the first bad race he's had. Yeah, you'd have to say Mark Willers will be hanging the bike back up on the rack. His race for a gold will be over. But the race for the gold with that man right there, Mike Day, 365, is red hot. <laughs> so Mike Day, no surprises there. He's still comfortably qualifying and staying out of danger. Well, isn't it getting faster and more furious? Artis Madison from Latvia. His games are over. It's really getting very, very hotly contested. Safiso from South Africa. Well, well he's got a lot of sentimental support, the South African. He's basically here by himself, the only rider. South Africa, a lot of these nations, particularly the Americans, the Australians turning up with a full complement of riders, the Latvians are strong. The South African there, and the, he's doing it all by himself. Well, Mike Day is just super smooth here. He pins it so beautifully through his turns. Make sure everybody gets out of his way. Nobody wants to get on the on the on, on, on top of him because he's so fast, he's so strong. What a dominator. Well, he's making some sort of a statement, isn't he? The Mike fist Day. up. So, waiting now for the start list of the second semi-final. As we look at the results there, Mike Day, Robinson, Napaldo, Jimenez qualifying. Work to do, Bennett, Van Der Bees and Madison's. Mark Willers will almost have to win the last race to qualify for the final. Remember, we're taking the top four from both of these semi-finals into the final, and that is only going to be one race. <laughs> uh, and now, back to the top of the ramp, and it's time now for Kamikaze to step up. Well, he really needs a divine win, doesn't he, if he's to, to get him back into himself, back into the mix. Stromberg's the world champion. Graves just getting it done there. Wildenberg got A, the Frenchman qualifying. Work to do, but... Bazine, Kamikaze, Randekite, and the Italian, De Vecchi. They lifted yesterday when they needed to, and they need to again here. So, a lot of pressure now on Kamikaze. Kama, third from the left. Looking from left to right. He's got a lot of work to do. There's Stromberg's in one. Very focused. Graves. Jared Graves. You can't miss him. He's got the gold goggles on. The same colour that's going to match his medal. <laughs> Don't jinx anyone, big fella. Just at the moment, he still has to get himself through to the final. So far, Graves is the Italian. The Italian lifted yesterday when he was in danger of missing the, 
semi-finals. So getting set for a start. The Swiss rider Randonek also needs to do well. Eyes on Kamikaze. So down they go, Kamikaze third from the left hand side and he needs to stay in this pack and stay out of danger. Graves in trouble. Graves needs to stay with Strombergs here. The Australian and Graves just snugging that inside hairpin. A stack at the back but Kamikaze is still in the mix. He's just clipping his back wheel. Stromberg the man to beat. He comes round now the middle half of this course. Graves though this is his worst race. Kamikaze though looks out of it. Well, here they come through into the rhythm section. Disappointing race for the Australian. Strombergs dominating from the front. Wildenberg from the Netherlands in third. And now the Australians and Graves comes through in fifth. You can see there Kamikaze sixth. And the calculators now in the Australian camp are working furiously. But really the equation is pretty simple. Kamikaze will have one more tilt at a semi-final run here and unless he wins it or come second and some of the more fancy riders stack it, he is in real danger of missing the cut. Graves now, a little bit of pressure on him. That was clearly his worst race here this week. Or well, Jared Graves picking the lower side of the first turn. He's got no speed in the bike there. All the speed's coming from the high-sided riders. He realises he's in the wrong position right there as they all go past him and he's got limited bike speed up. Now he has to work hard into the first jump as they go down. Besseren from Argentina hits the dirt. Kamikaze working hard on the outside, just getting unstuck. There's a problem in that first turn, I tell you. There's got to be something on the track. Well, we saw Reed come a cropper as we have a look at the best in the business just fly through the air. Super slow-mo of Stromberg's. Look at the weight over the front of the handlebars, keeping the momentum forward. He doesn't want to let the bike drop faster than him. He uh, tips it in beautifully, doesn't he? He just gets the bike on the perfect angle for the landing on the jump. That's going to make sure the bike maintains it all its speed and slingshots you into it. So, Stromberg still faultless. Wildenberg, Graves, Godet, Reinecat, Kamikaze in six. Remember taking the top four, the Italian and Versien. Well, they have to really win this next race if they're to qualify.